Hey guys, this is the Rugged Movie playing a bit of Seven Days to Die. And I'm checking out uh, one of the SG boys, Sable. Now he's uh, made a nice little base here, out in the uh, middle of the desert. Now um, what I'll do is I'll get a little bit closer, I'm going to check out inside and unlock all the doors and all that sort of fun stuff. So I'll get back to you guys in a second. So we've got the standard water elevator here. Um, start up from the top if you like, and right up the roof. It's really quick. Holy crap, that's a nice Leave little... Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't oh, know what's nice. going to happen in the next uh, version of this, but this is just the um, rooftop farm, or one of the rooftop farms. Um, and I'll put... Um, wow. This is a little tip I found from a base that we uh, that we raided a while back. These guys had um, these uh, concrete wedges on the corners, and it just gave them a bit of extra uh, angle on their fire. So... Uh, yeah, I yep, sort of yep. stole their idea and uh, used it for my own benefit as well. It seemed to work very effectively for them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, why not? Uh, yeah, it's a good field. That's a nice yeah. farm. Unfortunately, it's uh, the crops are bugged out with the server reset, so all this corn hasn't grown for a while. Uh, oh no. And this is your base, or part of it? Well, no, no, well, yeah, this is part of it. This is all just um, reinforced so we can grow a um, crop on the roof. Oh, okay, so it doesn't collapse on you. Yeah, yeah, so we've, we've done that before. <laughs> so, um, I like to have a uh, box with, you know, sniper rifle and a shotgun and some ammo uh, close by, just so I can, uh, you know, if I'm not prepared, I can quickly get in and get out and uh, do some shooting if I need to, or defend the base. Oh yeah, yep, yep. Ah, sweet. Yeah, and uh, bottom floor. This is just a, um, this is just a, I'm a bit of a fan of the multi-tier kilowatts. So if you know, the fences are a bit through there, uh, you can fire through. You can't fire through a crossbow, your guns, guns will fire through. Oh, just between the door uh, here. Gives you that extra. Yeah, yeah, or if you shoot with a gun, you can actually shoot <laughs> through the wall, uh, bars. Yeah, hey, nice. So if we do have zombies come in, or it gives us a second fallback point, if uh, you know we get some new player decides they want to uh, make their way through the front, Front door, unless you got an extra defence point. So yeah, yeah, nice, nice. Of course, there's there's the obligatory box filled with shotguns and stuff. Oh, yeah, of the, course. The, the kill box is king. It's, it's come in. It's come in handy once. Another uh, the other base. Another player came in and uh, tried to dig his way through and um, get into the bottom of the base. Luckily, Mike, we had the kill box set up and. Mike just moved a few uh, um, wood frames, and the guy fell down to his death. And we got his got his shit. We uh, had the swing after that. <laughs> oh, nice. So this is the pool room. We can't do pool tables yet. I still got to figure out how to make a pool table in this game. Oh, soon. But you got the cold beer sign there. Yeah, we've got the cold beer in the beer fridge. Maybe we'll do a, maybe we'll do a bar later on. Yeah, well, that's on my to do list. Look, uh, the unfortunate thing is it, it's empty. I mean, I, I would have put some yeah, beer well, in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, you know, Glargan stopped by a while back and he, he probably just drank all the beer, so. Look, that's understandable, you know. <laughs> Alright, this is the entrance to the base proper. Ooh, that looks nice. A long way down. It's, uh,. Nice little mining shaft here. Normally I put a, a quick access drop, but um, uh, we've called it a glark drop, but um, I haven't done it in this space. So, but yeah, here's the, the obituary kill box. Oh, yeah. They yep. uh, reach the top and, and get through here. Uh, it's, it's about, uh, there's about six land claim blocks scattered around, so it's pretty tough. Pretty tough for them to get out of here. Once they're in here, it's, they're going to take a lot of uh, resources. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to to get through this, and all the while we've got fire access on them, so they're going to want to be pretty good or do an offline raid. Mm hmm. Which is really annoying. Uh, yeah, and uh, this is just a secondary fallback point. 
<laughs> this is just the office. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, this little area here, I'm, I'm trying to. It's on on my to do list, but um, um, just through the roof. I'd like to have a secondary uh, in and out. Oh yeah. Uh, for every room, I don't like to stuck in in one room. Wait for people to come and raid me. I like to be able to move around and well, yeah, and that sort of thing. I, I mean, so, I guess you can have your secretary living in here as well, and um, maybe set up a little yeah. desk for for her. Or the gimp. We can lock the gimp in there. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! Wow. This is the president's bunker. Yeah. Yeah, saw so I'd like to decorate. Oh yeah, wow. Well. This is uh this is Saw's room. <laughs> that is amazing. And uh we've got a walk in wardrobe here. <laughs> that is and, so uh, cool, man. This Saw's always complaining about stinking from meat, uh killing a deer or whatever. We made her a bathtub. <laughs> That, yeah, I, I like this base. This is amazing. Yeah. yeah. My room's not finished yet. Oh, yeah, this is the, the secondary exit I'm working on. So, I like, I like the idea of just having two in, two out. Yeah, yep, yep. get stuck. So, it's still a work in progress up here, but uh, we might get it finished before the update. We might not. Yeah, no, fair enough. Uh, my room's over here. My room's not finished yet, so. Wait up, hang on, I think I lost you. Ah, right, eh? You're still up the top. No, oh, walking wardrobe. Oh, there you are. Okay. Yeah, there you are. Oh, my, my one's not finished yet, I'm still working on it. Well, look, I don't think you can say it's finished when it hasn't even been started yet. Uh <laughs> <laughs> But at least you got and, the gun uh, cameras there. Yeah, yeah, they're just quick drop offs. So this is the, the storage slash kitchen cooking. There's our little water trough that we got going here. Ah, uh, yep, yep. Yeah, so it's similar to what was in your place. And uh, this is the, the fuel room in here. Holy. The water trough in there and furnace for glass jars and stuff like that. Um, this is my patented uh, above ceiling lighting system. <laughs> yeah, check that out. It's... Yeah, painted, that's for sure. Is it a patent pending or...? Oh, patent pending, yeah. yeah the paperwork's still going through for that ah, one. Ah, bugger. Probably sit on someone's desk. <laughs> mm. Wow, that's really nice. So, yeah, I mean... Uh... Where's your uh, mining area? Or is that what you did here, mined all this area out? Yeah, well, the, mostly everything I've got is from, um, yeah, mining all this out, and it's, uh, it's generally a weak point in most design to have a, a mining area that's unsecured. No, yep, yep. Um, yeah, I sort of, yeah, I sort of get my resources, you know, from around places when I'm wandering and stuff like that. Yeah, yep, um, yep. But, you know, that, that be said, there's a lot of resources up when I start digging out more of the uh, the escape way. Yeah, yeah, um, yep. There, there's a lot of resources up there, but by the time you got to this point, it's sort of, you've already got what, whatever you need. And uh, the easiest way to get steel is to go into the wasteland and hit those, that scrap iron line around everywhere. It's most effective um, yeah. way of getting scrap oh, okay. or getting metal. Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah. There you go. So that's the tour. That's a really nice oh, yeah. area. Okay. It's this bloody hallway. This looks like it goes on forever. Yeah. Well, I mean, we originally dug it out away from the building, uh, off some distance past the other building. So when we uh, start having a big cook up, uh, all the wandering spider zombies, if they don't see anything, they move on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, but if, if you have a big cook up and the spider zombies see something like a building or your base or whatever uh, they'll start attacking it and bring hordes and all that sort of thing so yeah that's the whole idea of the very long corridor get everything away from the base get our cook room away from the base yeah yep yep yeah nice that'd be sweet um 
Yeah, and I'll, I'll show you the other, the other wing if you like. Oh, this is just a, a secondary exit that I'm slowly digging. So you got three, yeah. mul oh, you got multiple secondary e exits. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Yep. yes. Always, always have a plan B. And a C and a D and an E. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and on the way out, you'll see the, the odd block missing with a bit of um, glass in it and a candle behind it. That's the that's my patented uh, that way <laughs> lighting method. Makes it yeah look more decorative. Yeah, well, that's it. And it gets pretty dark down all, all the way down, so have a bit of light. Yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully, yeah, uh, we can get your pool room sorted so we can uh, have a, have a nice couple of drinks here and uh, yeah, play a game of pool. Yeah, we've got to got to get some pictures, figure out how to make a pool table. Still working on it. Can you play shotgun pool or is that different? <laughs> I don't know, it'd be, it'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? A sniper rifle pool. Yeah. So this is, uh, this is the outside. Um, as you can see, I've got a lot of trussing around the outside that helps stop the spider zombies crawling up the wall. Yeah, yep. But you um, can actually shoot through it. Oh, really? But you can't yeah. use bow and arrow? So, no, you can't use crossbow? No, you can't use crossbow, but you can use a rifle, pistol, anything like that. So I think it's defending. You know, they seem to sort of want to punch up near the walls. Yeah, yeah. When, uh, when the zombies come, so it gives you something. You know, you can stand over the top of them and just let loose. Ah, oh, bloody decent design. Unfortunately, the uh, the bridgeway, there's some kind of glitch where we can't put anything in this block here. It just keeps um, degrading. Oh, okay. So, yeah. hmm. so unfortunately, the bridge doesn't. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oops. You have a bed here? No. Oh, no. <laughs> that's unfortunate. That's alright. Uh... Well, as you, can, as you can see, the spikes work really well. <laughs> um... Oh, you need, you, you're so close. You're two squares away from getting out of there, too. Yeah. I was running. I'm just like, oh, I should have used the buddy. Um... The health. Use my uh, my med pack. Oh no! Oh shit! You're miles away too. Ah, oh, that was fun though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, I got the uh, the sniper rifle here. Just giving it a go while uh, Sable comes to uh, give me all my gear back, and then uh, from there I can close out the episode and have you know all that fun stuff. But uh, I'll also take you on a tour of my base as soon as I get to that zombie. Ooh. That zombie. There. Boom. I'll be able to slow down that and be like, why did I miss that? Alright, so guys, this. Ooh, nothing. Alright, this is my entrance. Basically, uh, this is just a devlog for. Uh, well, before the new update comes out, which should be very soon, very soon indeed. Um, it's going to be an amazing uh, update, a lot of uh, graphics boosts and all that fun stuff. So uh, as we come up, here's my uh, garden bed. This is just uh, one of my second bases because I haven't I haven't played in a while. Thought I'd jump back on before the uh, the dev comes out, so I learn a bit more. But um, look, yeah, this is my base. Uh, uh, this is my garden. <laughs> I want to put in the third, fourth, and fifth row. Uh, Got a bit of coffee, a couple of co yeah, a bit of corn in that. Um, basically, what you do, you, you know, dig out a bit of an area, use the uh, the gardening hoe, go through, make it into um, sown land, la di da, all that fun stuff, and then uh, come here. This is my original garden. Not too sure if I'm going to get rid of it or not yet, but uh, yeah. Uh, then you come down this very obscure little uh, tunnel here. I uh, normally cover up if I want to, uh, you know, go out adventuring or anything like that. So I'd come down, and this is my uh, little setup, um, the beginning setup at least, and uh, where I've got my my cooking, uh, sorry, my smelting and my cooking there. 
making a bit of uh, grain alcohol at the moment so I can uh, fuel my uh, augers downstairs. My augers and uh, chainsaws. Now they are downstairs so I can't really show you them yet. But um, a lot of stuff gathered up in here. Just my uh, go-to base where I wanted to you know, make something quick so I can shoot off. Uh, and this is downstairs. And now downstairs here is just uh, Sable. Uh, he came down and he, he designed this for me or built it for me. He uh, put in a little uh, sink and uh, you know, a couple of uh, furnaces here for me. Um, also gave me you know, augers, chainsaw and a nail gun. Just so I can test them all out before I uh, go into the next, um, for the next update. So uh, basically what I do is build a, um, a, you know, a wall around of dirt so when people walk past they can't see much. And then on the inside here, dig down and make my gardens, make a, um, an entire base underneath, like a little house underneath the ground, which I would love, that'd be sweet. So um, then yeah, people will just walk past, not notice anything. Uh, that's my, you know, my main sort of build I want to do. Have a little garden out here where it looks fucking amazing and uh, all that. And uh, hopefully I can uh, complete that afterwards. My, uh, my last base was just an underground, you know, normal tank base. Um, yeah, but this is, yeah, this is my little, uh, my dream, my dream home. I'm going to do a lot more uh, Let's Plays of um, of Seven Days to Die and uh, also yeah, yeah. Nearly, um, Rust. Nearly at, um, um, the main thing with Rust Island. is that there's um, there's like, I don't know how to explain it, they, they reset the server every maybe two weeks, which is shocking. Like, uh, I don't understand why they would do that. But he, yeah, if you've got something good there, why not keep it there, keep mucking around, but... Uh, I like to reset every two weeks and sort of annoys us, but um, what I'll do is I'll start a new um, a Rust Let's Play, just playing until I have a base and I'm pretty well set up. I've also got Tough and uh, Godai, and Sable may be joining us, but um, yeah, and uh, Glargan, he'll be joining us, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll muck around a little bit on that. And after the update on this one, uh, everyone should go, uh, join um, Stratagem the A server. That's the uh, server I'm playing at the moment. So, right, uh, my arm. Sounds good. But your doorstep, right. mate. And if you see me. Hey, buddy. How are you? Hey. Yeah, I've got a few things for you, mate. Uh, you want me to chuck them in a crate for yeah. you? Yeah, please. I think I've got them all full now, again. That's right. Which is a bit of a bummer. I'll just make another one. Yeah, mate. Got to go through and sort these out. Yeah, Make another one, I'll put this stuff in for you. Just give us a second. Oh, <laughs> right. uh, we'll have to go just cut down a tree real quick. I, th I think I should have thought of that, you know, go down and cut down a tree and make a new chest for you. Sable's just uh, dropping some stuff off, just made a chest and everything, um, from my death earlier, yeah, which I is a very sad thing. Uh, oh, I've ruined everything now. <laughs> it's all good. Alright, I think that's everything. There's another little surprise in there. Actually, there's a couple of little surprises in there for you. Uh oh. Little something for you to try out on your 28 day and horde coming through. <laughs> yes. Saw and I have already got one each, so. Uh... <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to try that one out. Great for buying up cars and people's bases. Of course, you have to use it on people's bases. Oh, shit, yeah. Nah, that's gonna be awesome. Give that a go. And the Magnum. That's that's a lot of rounds for the Magnum. That's a roll, man. We'll go through it real quick. <laughs> Especially with twelve thousand kill, twelve thousand kills. Yeah. See, mate, most of those kills are from crossbows and sledgehammers. So I left a sledgehammer in there for you to try out as well. That's cool fun. Ah, nice. 
I uh, I use the uh, sniper rifle because I had a couple of rounds there. <coughs> it's it's not too bad, eh? Yeah, like it's it's a bit of a learning curve, but it's um yeah, it's pretty bloody handy. If, if you don't have a uh, magnum, it's pretty handy piece of gear to be getting around with. Yeah, should you? Sorry, but I'm gonna put my clothes back on. Um, yeah, That's just, it's unfortunate. I know. I, I was gonna say it's a bit disappointing because, like, you know, half naked shit for the sniper rifles, sort of. You no, know, I don't know. It's just something about it. <laughs> just like any girl inside a, in a Ute. Yeah, that's it. The Ute. Uh, yeah, no. Well, um, that dev look, look um, dev blog looks really nice. Oh, Can't wait for it. There's a lot of exciting shit going on. Oh shit, did I, did I give you ammo for your Magnum? Yeah, yeah. Like 400 and something rounds. Good. 465 rounds. Oh, I just found an extra stack on me. I thought, wow, I brought both stacks from me. <laughs> Ooh, test out the rocket launcher here, eh? Oh, wow. Like right. Four in a bunch there. Go Ready yeah. and firing. Might buy help if I reload it first. <laughs> the, the death, the death click. <laughs> oh yes. Holy crap! One shot anywhere kills. Yeah, one shot except for um, fat tourists. I need a headshot and cops. Get a headshot too. Ah oh, right, okay. That's why right. one-shot headshots on them, um, the big fellas. That's pretty good. Oh, I tell you what, when when one of those hordes comes through, that this man becomes a lifesaver, literally. All right, guys. Looks like we're heading out to uh, Sable's base, the secondary base. So we'll go check that out, and uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. I'll uh, I'll make the the trip to Sable's secondary base uh, another episode. But please uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, dislike. All of the above, and uh, please join me on the next episode to check out Sable Secondary Base. And hopefully, this time I won't die, but uh, I may. <laughs> Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great one. Bye.